Take care of yourself, Ursula. Do your best out there. Yes, Mother. Listen, dear. If anything happens to Ursula, I'll make sure you pay for it. And it won't just be the frying pan this time. Y yes my dear. Mother? Leave the kingdom's affairs to us. I shall. Master Yang, Princess Ursula, please come home safely. Make yourselves at home! It'll be a long journey. We'll take the roundabout path for safety. Raise anchor, men! Aye, aye, sir! So, what will we do once we reach Baron? Obtain an audience with Cecil and determine the truth behind these affairs. What if Cecil's already in enemy hands? Ridiculous. That could never happen. Not to Cecil. How lucky he is. Mm -hmm. You give him such absolute unwavering trust. What is it? Monsters! Father! Ready yourself, Ursula! I've never heard of monsters storming the deck of a ship before. The moon must be affecting the world's creatures in strange and unpredictable ways. That's a Dempsey and Craft starboard, Captain! Yaha! We're racing her to the docks, ye dogs! Aye, aye, aye sir! sir. Dempsey Is that... young? The king of the bull? Yes, you cannot find a stronger or gentler monarch, nor one half so brave. Edward, are you sailing for Baron as well? Yes, that's right! Their destination is the same as ours? Indeed. Babu has picked up on the same signs we have, no doubt. Ah, what a shot of confidence knowing that he's on our side. Mm. We're losing speed. Oh, looks like those monsters did more damage than I thought. Don't just sit there! The ship needs repairs, man! Get to it! Yahar! Aye, 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 sir! sir. Where will we find fuel, though? 
Some palm oil should work. It's not the best fuel in the world, but it'll do for now. I apologize for being blunt, Captain, but we're on urgent business. Let's just get what we need and get moving again. Remember that this is an unexplored island, so there's no telling what's out there. Then I'll go. Father, I'm coming too. You will wait here. Let us go with you, Master. Enough worrying about me. I will be back in a short time. Be careful! Father... Don't worry. Master Yang will be back before you know it. I'm going. Princess Ursula! When did my father go anyway? Well, I best get things going for dinner. Thanks. <clears throat> what is it? Nothing. You look pale, my dear. I'm fine. I'm not sick or anything. Then what? <laughs> it's a child. Our child. What? Aren't you happy? Uh, of course I am. Perhaps further in. Master Yang? Master Yang! Hmm? What? Won't you even take a day like this off? Training exists especially for days like this. Assuming your mind is in it, that is. Duke. She'll be giving birth any moment now. Go now, and be by her side. But... Ugh. Master Yang! Go on, hurry! Right. Trees. This ought to be enough.
Princess! Stay back. We'll handle this. Yeah! 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 <sighs> what is that all? This is impossible, Master Yang. It's just too hard. Trying to crush it through sheer force will only serve to bruise your knuckles. Every object has a weak point. Find it. Concentrate upon it. Yeah! And you no longer need to exhaust your strength. Father! Keep your eyes on the enemy. <sighs> well done! Father... You always had strength, but now it is affirmed by the heart. The heart to save your companions in need. I only carried out what you taught me to do, Father. From this moment on, consider yourself my newest disciple. You mean... Don't expect special treatment, though. Not even my own daughter is allowed that luxury. Father! Spare me your tears. I am no longer your father. I am now master to you. Yes, master. Off to Baron, then. Yes, master. Master Young! Princess Ursula! You've all come back safely! Will this work for you? Amazing work, my liege! I need no thanks. My pupil did all the work. Pupil? I have been accepted as Master Yang's newest disciple. Princess! Please, call me Ursula. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, if you're offering... I'll need help refining this palm oil into usable fuel. Could you lend a hand? Sure. Oh, this is some high quality oil. We'll be at the gates of Baron in the blink of an eye. Hmm. Master? What is it? I feel a tremendous sense of foreboding ahead of us. So you've noticed it too? Yes. Lash yourselves to the ship! Huh? Now! Do it! I yes your highness! This dread I feel...
I knew it! They just ain't biting, Captain. Stop your whining! Look, Captain, how much longer do we have to keep putting up with that brat? Hmm, which brat would that be? I apologize for my crew's insolence, Lord Pallum. Uh, Lord? You know you're about several decades older than me. Did you forget? In... Uh, in that case, what would you like me to call you? Uh, figure it out for yourself, why don't you? You're a grown man, right? Uh, yes. So quit bowing and scraping. You're too old for that act. How dare you speak to the captain like that! The fish? Huh? Did you catch anything? I... uh... no, not yet. Are you guys even trying? Is it really that hard? There's good fishing around here. I've never seen a dry spell such as this, sir. <sighs> excuses, excuses. Just get me something fresh, okay? We got a long voyage ahead. Uh, I knew I shouldn't have taken this job. You called for me, Elder? Where is Palom? I apologize, Elder. I'll go fetch him immediately. I'm right here. Palom! Where have you been? What? Am I supposed to report every little detail of my life to you? So what did you need, Elder? I have received a request from a certain foreign nation. A request? Another prayer job from some country trying to palm its problems off on others, no doubt. Pelham! I'll let you handle this one, Porum. By the way, Elder, have you made your decision yet? about the sage training you brought up. That's the one. You are not ready yet, Palom. Still? When will you actually think I'm ready, Elder? Palom! 
All right, all right. So, what's this request about? This nation wishes us to send a mage in order to train their epochs. I would be happy to handle this request, Elder. Thank you, but I've decided to send Palom this time. What? Isn't it normally Porum's job to train Epops, Elder? It will be your task this time, Palom. But what use would it be to send me? I don't know a thing about white magic. What use you would be depends entirely on you, Palom. Guess it's nighttime already. And just look at that moon. It's getting closer and closer. Elder, why did you send Palum instead of me? Hmm. There are some things that only he is capable of, I believe. And what's more... Ugh! Elder! I am fine. Good morning. Did you sleep well? <laughs> Are we there yet? I... I'm afraid not. Why don't you take a walk around the deck? Though I'm sure you're sick of it by now. Captain? Yes? I seem to remember you convincing me that this trip would take no more than a week. Ah, uh, yes. And how long has it been since we departed from Mesidia, huh? Yeah, uh, about a month now, I suppose. I guess there's nothing much I can say, given that our compass is broken. That it is, sir. But you're all supposed to be sailors, aren't you? More or less. Then shouldn't you be able to do something about this? I mean, come on! I'm sorry about this, my lord. Wait! Up ahead! Look! Mm -mm. I'm not falling for that again, Captain. There it is! Yahar! The Cape of Troyer! Yar, I'm so sorry that it took this long, my lord. Aren't we still quite a ways away from Troya? If you cross the western bridge and go north from there, you'll find a forest with chocobos. You could then cross the river on a chocobo and you'll arrive in Troya in no time. Hmm, fair enough. 
Please be careful, my lord. Is that all? I, I am truly regretful for the delay. You don't have to kiss up to me like that. How old are you again? S sorry Well, see you later. Farewell, my lord.